What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to make a beginner class guide so that all my fellow new and returning players out there can make the right decision before picking their class. This presentation is brought to you by the stunning No Edit Andy. Woohoo! Okay. Before we begin, as always, if you are enjoying this content and want to support your boy out, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Even my buddy Martin endorses this content with this totally legit quote, so make sure to do what Martin says. All right, on with the video. So, you are new to Lost Ark, you are a returning player to Lost Ark, you're a veteran to Lost Ark. We all want to know what are good classes. Well, you're in luck because today we are going through the key things that make a class good. My criteria are simple. Easy to play with a high floor, good damage, modern, think paralysis immunities, built-in buffs, etc., mobility, and most importantly, fun to play. I mean, you'll be stuck with this character for a while, so it better be enjoyable, right? Before we begin, disclaimer, there is no best class. Some people enjoy playing certain classes that may not be considered a good class. Please do your own research before picking a class. All right, let's break down the first point, easy to play. Some classes like Hitmaster classes are much easier to get the hang of than others like Entropy classes. This is just basics. Hitmaster classes, no need to worry about positioning. Just hit the boss from anywhere. Meanwhile, Entropy classes, you better be aiming for that boss's butt every time. Also, pro tip, recently released classes tend to be easier. Why? Designers get better at making classes over time, and it only makes sense to improve classes for that sweet, sweet cash that they get every time they release a class. Imagine they released a mediocre class. No money to be made. That's a big no-no. And for the third point, swiftness based classes are usually faster, which means equals more forgiving. We'll talk a little bit more on higher swiftness classes in the mobility section. But for now, let's talk about damage. So there are a ton of tier lists out there that say mostly the same things for, I would say, the top 10 classes. These are pretty clear. So it's not a secret which classes are doing the highest numbers. I made some tier lists that you can check out as well if you're curious about it uh, for what classes I think are in the top spots. But more on what the pros are of having good damage. Meta classes do in fact get accepted into raid lobbies much easier than not so publicly great classes. This is because without the knowledge of the skill level of the individual player, the only metric a lobby leader has is their gear and their class. Most importantly, doing good damage gives you that big, big dopamine rush when you see the billions of damage on your screen. It makes you more motivated to invest in your character, pushing them even further to do bigger and better damage. In Korea, we call this receipts. And for modern, this is a quite a big one. Classes that have a built-in synergy that doesn't interrupt the flow of your skill rotation. So I provided some examples here. Soul Eater has a skill called Lunatic's Edge. This gives you movement speed as well as it applies your synergy buff, which is 6% damage. This skill has a very low cooldown, so it can be casted off cooldown with no punishment. Beautiful skill. Meanwhile, another example of a bad non-modern class is Striker. Striker has multiple synergy plus buff skills that are required as part of your skill rotation. This results in a punishing playstyle if missed or done out of sync. So for example, if you're wanting to use your Lightning Whisper for your crit synergy. 
the, one of the most important things about Striker is its crit synergy. Well, it doesn't have paralysis immunity. So if the boss even pokes you just a little bit while you're casting your Lightning Whisper, well, too bad, so sad, the skill gets canceled. Why is that a thing? I have no idea, but this is what I mean by modern. Class has multiple paralysis or push immunity on their skills. I gave you that exact example where Striker doesn't have any paralysis immunity skills on their buff skills. And so it results in an unnecessarily harder playing due to needing to hit all skills at the perfect time and accurately. Meanwhile, for Soul Eater, they have multiple skills that are paralysis and push immunity to allow for easier DPSing and also the ability to ignore many boss patterns. So it's very clear modern classes have it all. They have built-in synergies loaded into their skills so that it's just a one and done thing. Meanwhile, strikers and other non-modern classes have them all in different stuff. Don't even get me started on Berserker and their Red Dust Jail, but that's besides the point. But on top of that, Paralysis and push immunity are very important things to have, but the non-modern classes don't really have them as much as modern classes do. All right, next up is mobility. Mobility is another huge factor. The higher your swiftness, the more attack speed, movement speed, and the more fluid your gameplay is. This branches out into three reasons of why swiftness is so important. Number one, you are able to dodge patterns while you are weaving in attacks. This is important for doing higher uptime, which is higher damage. Number two, lower skill animation times. This puts you at less of a risk of getting hit by the boss while you are mid animation. Or even simply, the boss doesn't have enough time to move somewhere else by the time your ability was casted. This results in more damage. And number three, with cooldown reduction from Swiftness, you are able to cast skills more often, which is a much forgiving playstyle if you miss a skill, or even better, you can hit every skill and constantly do damage to the boss. This equals more damage. All right, but at the end of the day though, the most important factor is, is the class fun to play? Seriously, it doesn't matter if the class deals tons of damage, is modern, or has great mobility. If you don't enjoy playing it, it's gonna feel like a grind. You're not going to enjoy the game as much. So do yourself a favor. Look up the gameplay of the class you're thinking about and see if it resonates with you. Let's do some quick examples to help you decide. For example, are you someone who loves doing good damage but wants a character that's very quick, so, you know, mobile, swiftness, whatever, easy to play, and only hit master. Then, for example, you should play classes like Aeromancer, Soul Eater, and Sorceress. I have to give shoutouts to my transformation classes, though, Shadowhunter and Scouter. These are very alt-friendly classes. Yes, they're not going to be doing as much damage as others because they don't have tripods, but that's a, that's a different story. But they are very, very good. And I would highly recommend uh, new and returning players to play Shadowhunter and Scouter. Try it out. Maybe not as a main, but as an alt. Anyway, moving on. Are you someone who doesn't care about damage? Wants a character that's slow and not modern and the worst entropy class in the game? Then play classes like Striker. Now, I'm dogging on Striker a little bit. I have a Striker, so I'm talking about Striker a lot. Do look at Striker gameplay and see if that's cool for you. I mean, hey, I still stick with it and I still love it. So it's a love and hate relationship with the Striker. Are you someone who doesn't want to play DPS and instead wants to be a Giga Chad that can get into any raid group? Then your answer is simple. Play support. So I didn't mention this, but yes, support exists in Lost Ark. So you can play at currently... There are only three supports available, Paladin, Artist, and Bard, and I ordered them in difficulty from lowest difficulty to highest difficulty. Choose whatever you want to play. And finally, are you someone who is good at the video gaming and wants to play the highest ceiling classes? 
while sweat drips all over your keyboard? Well, then play classes like Arcanist, Deathblade, and EO Soulfist. These, if you play it to the highest level, you will never lose in damage. For the most part. But, that is it for today's presentation. I hope you all learned more about what factors you should consider before picking a class. Good luck. And for my pineapple gang, the secret word to sneak into the comments is barnacle. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.